So here we are in the dashboard overview page. Now, one thing you may notice, depending on when you're looking at this is your screen may look a little different from mine. What you're seeing here is what Dynatrace calls Dashboards Classic. As of the making of this course, Dynatrace has recently released and is rolling out a new Dashboards UI. Now that's outside the scope of this course at this point, but it could be something we discuss at a later time. Okay, now back to the Dashboard page. You can see here a list of the preset dashboards I mentioned earlier. When it comes to creating a dashboard, you can save yourself some time by simply choosing to clone one of the existing ones here and tweaking it. You see that we have dashboards for RUM, synthetics, Kubernetes, and more. So if we wanted to create a synthetic monitoring dashboard that say focuses on a specific location, I can go into the dashboard and take a look to see if it contains some of the tiles for that data I want to see. And we see here that there's a lot of information that this synthetic dashboard is displaying, like availability, performance, and synthetic monitors. If you remember in the previous module, I set up the synthetic test for two locations, one in Cape Town, South Africa, and the other in Seattle, Washington, United States. So if we wanted to just view the data for Cape Town, I can click on the button to clone this dashboard. And from here, I can make changes by clicking on the edit button here. I can now change the name from something like Synthetic Monitoring Cape Town. And now I want to change this availability tile to only show me Cape Town data for these two websites. To do that, I click on the tile and now I can go into Data Explorer to change the query to fit what I'm looking to do. Now, I'm going to talk about Data Explorer later, but right now, I can click on this configuration button to make the change. Now I can add a filter to select only the Cape Town location. When I run the query again, the resulting visualization is only showing me the availability for synthetic tests coming from Cape Town. Next, I can just save this to my dashboard for it to take effect. And once I've made all the changes I want to make, I click on the done button and that's it. I can now go back to the dashboard overview page and see my new clone dashboard. So you can see that this saved us some time. We didn't have to create tiles from scratch or identify the metrics from scratch or determine our query from scratch. But there are obviously times when you have to create a dashboard from scratch.